The governor is expected to return to Hawaii tonight from a mainland trip, but today she sent out a statement encouraging the public to comment on all the bills the legislature approved, including the civil unions bill. Governor Lingo's phone line was bogged down all day with calls mostly from civil union opponents. KITV 4's Demby Fawcett has more in tonight's top story. It's been like this all morning from 7.45 to now without even a, a window break of 15 seconds for me to breathe. Kaui Alapa says in her seven years as the governor's receptionist, she's never seen such a response on a single issue. Nearly a thousand calls on civil unions, all of them tallied up. Most callers urging the governor to veto the civil unions bill. Would you like governor to sign or to veto? If the governor vetoes, House members now are three votes shy of the 34 needed to override her veto, but they say that could change. Civil union supporters today began to ramp up efforts to urge the governor to support the legislation. Of course, we're going to be outreaching to Governor Lingle. We'll be asking all of our members and our allies to be contacting the governor. Civil union critics are energizing church groups, trying to focus outrage on the fact the bill was passed just before the legislative session ended. There's no denying that most of our strong support comes from the uh, Christian churches and the Catholic Church. And so we're, we're sort of mobilizing them and uh, having them, asking them to express their views, either through fax, email, or phone. The governor has 45 days to make up her mind on the civil unions bill. If she vetoes it, lawmakers can come back in July for a one-day session to try to override her veto. All right, we're joined now by KITV force Denby Fawcett. Denby, what's the story on why the civil unions bill was taken up at the last minute? Well, some lawmakers said they thought it was important to take a stand on this controversial issue and that they felt embarrassed about ducking it in January. Tonight at 6, we'll hear from Blake Oshiro, the lawmaker responsible for reviving the civil unions bill, and more on why he did it. Denby Fawcett, KITV4 News.